Hey everybody, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. I just wanted to welcome you back. Um, last week we pretty much finished up our Advanced Tactical Fighters videos and that kind of completed the uh, phase that we were in with doing foam board planes. Um, for the next project I decided I want to get back into doing some EPP planes. Um, I've been kind of hearing out there on the internet and some of the other sites that people aren't really used to um, using EPP. I think part of it is, you know, people get kind of stuck in doing um, the same type of projects with say Depron or foam board or whatever type of foam they're using um, and then when they come with to EPP they try to um, do the projects the same way um, but you got to kind of always look at the material you're using and um, build to the strengths of the material you're using so EPP is kind of best uh, when used in a thicker format so most of the EPP planes I build the main wing portion I usually use 15 millimeter or actually even thicker uh, my Nova Jet is actually using a 30 millimeter uh, main wing, so that's fairly thick, and it's a lot thicker than using a six millimeter Depron. Um, but anyway, for this next project, I'm going to get into um, working on this plane that I actually already have started. It's a fairly large uh, park flyer. Um, I'd say probably about a 32 to 36 inch wingspan. I have to go back and measure. I don't remember how big it is. But anyway, um, let's get into the uh, early uh, pictures I have of the build that I already started and then we'll continue on from there and uh, start getting into this EVP build. Um, this plane I'm going to basically use a uh, Grayson Hobby Super Mega Jet on there. So hopefully this will give a little more power and let's see if we can get a little quicker than my Nova Jet at 97 miles an hour. So that's kind of the plan. I don't know if it's going to work out since it is a bigger plane, but uh, let's get into the build and see how it goes. Okay, well, well, this is where we're at with the build so far. Um, we're just getting started, and actually, it looks like the actual wingspan is a little smaller than I actually thought. It's only um, 30 inches, roughly. Um, but for the next part of the video, when we get into part two, um, I'm going to be laying down a little bit of um, this Henry, Henry brand um, fiberglass weave. We use that to stiffen up certain areas. And I don't know if you can see it, I already have one layer kind of sandwiched in between. The bottom piece of the fuselage and the main wing. Let's see if I can get that up here. So there's actually one layer of it in between the bottom layer and the uh, main wing portion. And I'm going to put two layers of it. And there's one ready on the bottom, and there's going to be another layer that's going to go over the top and be sandwiched in between um, the top layer and the main wing. So that'll kind of create like a, a push pull tension of the two fiberglass weaves, and it'll make it a lot more rigid. Uh, but anyway, that's where we're at with this build. Um, but before we go, I want to kind of leave you a, a parting glimpse of some of the other EPP planes I've built. Um, this is back to the funny monkey plane I built for my brother's wife, Thom. Uh, it was going to be a, a trainer plane, but it ended up being a little faster than I thought it would be. Um, it has just a little $6 motor, but this little motor kicks out about 180 watts, so it turned out being a little quicker than uh, what she can handle for a beginning flight. But anyway, if you look at this plane, this is also built with a 15 millimeter main wing. So that's a lot thicker than your typical six millimeter Depron. Um, and right after this, I'll cut over and I'll show you some of it, of this plane flying. Um, and also back to the uh, Nova Jet, which I think a lot of you have already seen. This is my Nova Jet. This is one of the first um, scratch build planes I've ever made. Um, this one's built out of EPP foam. It's got a 30 millimeter thickness for the whole main wing. It's just one big 30 millimeter piece of EPP that are kind of carved out and shaped um, with a rasp and uh, a hot wire tool. Um, but basically, when you use EPP in this thickness, it's pretty rigid. I actually don't even have any carbon fiber spars uh, going across the main wing. 
the EPP by itself is thick and is uh, sturdy enough and rigid enough. So let's uh, get over and I'll show you some uh, video of these two flying as the parting shots, and then we'll pick it up next week with um, a little more of the build on my new EPP plane. Okay, we're gonna fly uh, Dom's monkey plane. This is just a funny plane that I built. Um, Dom is made out of EPP. Um, so we're gonna do some test flying. There's the monkey on the bottom. So I haven't flown in a while, so let's see how it goes. I can't probably <laughs> <laughs> Wave is not breaking like feet off the ground. <laughs> not bad for six dollar motor. <laughs> and the size of the plane. Fifty. Okay. Got it. I'm gonna let Frank uh, fly the monkey plane. I'm gonna take up the F-22 and see if we can get some cool plane footage. Ready? All the way around. Yep. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty docile, man, on the roll in that, too. It's not bad. It's just uh, elevons, right? It's a good beginner plane. I'm going to move it now. It's a good loop. Yeah, that's a good loop. Oh, yeah. This is the one that flies like it's got vector thrust, man. Oh, that would seem like that was kind of cool. Oh, that's a good loop. That's a good Monkey, fly and be free! <laughs> I like the way this one flies, Paul. Oh. Here, land, land, land. Good time. Okay, oh, good job. Nice, I like it. Cool deal. <laughs> 